Hi everyone. Okay, we are going to start Unit 6, Ancient History. Um, this was going to be our project, but we will have to work this way. Okay, so let's get to it, guys. If we go directly onto page 90, we will start with the colonization of the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, we are going to work the same way we did with natural science. I'm going to play the audio so that you can read with the audio and then we'll start uh, highlighting those parts in the page that are the most important. Um, are you ready? Okay, let's go. First of all, I turn on the audio. Unit 6, page 90. Colonization of the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, first of all, let's look at the title. Colonization. You remember that we saw that when the Romans came to Spain, we already had some tribes living in it. Okay, so colonization is people that come to Spain, okay, to live here. Okay, so they start um, conquering and they start getting territory for their own people. Okay? Many different tribes were living on the Iberian Peninsula until around 1100 BC. At that time, other Mediterranean cultures began moving and establishing colonies on the coasts. They were interested in the peninsula's location, which made it easy to control trade and commerce at sea. They were also interested in all the natural resources the peninsula offered such as minerals. Okay, we've listened to the whole text. What we're going to do now is go back and go little by little because this one is a little bit complicated. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Six, page 90. Colonization of the Iberian Peninsula. Many different tribes were living on the Iberian Peninsula until around 1100 BC. Okay, so there were in Spain, in the Iberian Peninsula, there were many different tribes. Okay, let's continue. At that time, other Mediterranean cultures began moving and establishing colonies on the coasts. So, we had a lot of tribes, and, and uh, from, from that date on, um, a lot of different cultures began, began moving and establishing uh, colonies on the coasts. The coasts, if you look at the map right down here, okay, you see that it's all around the sea, okay, the coast. And they came from other countries. They were interested in the peninsula's location, which made it easy to control trade and commerce at sea. Okay, this is important. Why did they want to come to Spain? Why did they want to uh, colonize the Iberian Peninsula? Because where it was, the location, the situation of Spain, um, was important to them. Okay, was important to them. Why? Why was it important to them? So that they could control trade and commerce at sea. What is trade? Remember, we talked about trade in the unit that we did before, when they start exchanging goods. I give you some fish, you give me some apples, remember? And commerce. Commerce, we start talking about money. Okay, so they start selling and buying goods. This commerce uh, took place uh, taking those goods, taking those things through the sea. Okay, so that's why um, Spain or the Iberian Peninsula was so important for this commerce and trace, trade. They were also interested in all the natural resources the peninsula offered, such as minerals. Okay, also Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, was very rich in minerals, minerals, uh, coal and other kind of minerals. That's why they were interested in the natural resources, natural resources, the things that we can get from nature, okay? Now, 
if you look at the map, where did the colonies come from? If you look at the, on the map right here, the one that that has um, all of the all of the um, uh, well part part of Europe, we have right here. You see that it says Greece, Phoenicians, and Carthaginians. Carth okay, so those were the where the colonies came from. Those were the, the where the colonies came from. These are where the people that came to the Iberian Peninsula. If you look at the map on the other side, where were the main colonies, and we have here the different main colonies that we had in Spain: Phoenicians, Ancient Greek, Carth Carthaginians. I'm not sure if you pronounce it that way. Okay, we would have to listen to it now. Now. They're going to talk to us about the Phoenicians, okay? The Phoenicians are the ones that we are going to continue learning about. So we're going to open that audio. We are going to open that audio and start listening to it. And then we will continue um, highlighting as we did before. Unit 6, page 90. Phoenicians. The Phoenicians were the first colonizers and came from the Near East, modern-day Syria, Lebanon, and Israel. They founded Gadir, Kadith, and Malacca, Malaga. Okay, so the Phoenicians were the first ones to arrive into the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, the first colonizers, first colonizers. Um, as well, um, they, um, they came from the nearest east, okay? came from the nearest east, okay? Nowadays, those would be Syria, Lebanon, and Israel, okay? And they founded two, they founded two cities, Gadir, Gadir, that is the same as Gadir, and Malacca, that nowadays is Malaga, okay? Those were the two, two um, colonies they had. Characteristics. They were good navigators and had the most advanced boats. They were skilled metal and glass workers. They brought their own alphabet, which used individual letters rather than pictures or hieroglyphics. Okay, so the characteristics of the Phoenicians. Let's look at the different, the, the, they tell us about three different characteristics. The first one, navigators, good navigators. What is navigating? Traveling by boat. When you go on a boat, that is navigating. Um, and they had very, very, very advanced boats, very good boats. The, good, the goods from the Phoenicians were really great. Um, the second characteristics that they tell us about, they were, were, they were skilled in metal and glass workers. Do you remember from the, the unit before we saw that we had already very good um, metal workers in Spain? They were the Celts, remember? They worked with metal very well. Well, the Phoenicians the same. And the last one is that they brought they brought into Spain their own alphabet, their, their own alphabet, okay? Instead of using pictures or hieroglyphics like the Egyptians, they had individual letters. They had individual letters instead of using hieroglyphics, the little pictures, remember, that the Egyptians used. Well, guys, this is all that we have for today. Okay, so what we want you to do now is look for the, that Phoenician alphabet online and uh, turning your names into the Phoenician alphabet, each one of your letters, and write it, write your own names in the Phoenician way. There's also two links on um, on the program for today that you can use. There's a video. There's I think there's a video and there's another and there's another link that you can use uh, to complete the lesson. Okay. See you next day. Bye bye.